China has developed many kinds of laser terminal guided missiles, rockets, and artillery shells. Recently, a new tactic explored by the PLA Army Corps emerged in a helicopter sea and land fire assessment conducted by a brigade of the 71st Army. They used unmanned reconnaissance aircraft to search for targets and provide laser guidance for missiles launched by helicopters. With the help of this new tactic, they achieved a good record of hitting all targets with live ammunition beyond the visual range under the harsh conditions shrouded in dense fog. A brigade of the 71st Group Army is the youngest Army aviation unit of the PLA established in 2017. In recent years, they have been focusing on mission requirements and innovating tactical tactics. The live fire assessments at sea and plateau are a true portrayal of the unit's training of the troops' all regional and all weather combat capabilities and extending the flight track from land to sea. The training was conducted using drone to locate the targets and to provide laser pinpoint position guiding the missiles fired from Z-19 helicopter, which can mount eight of AKD-9 missiles. The missile uses semi-active laser guidance and has four formats of codes. It has a maximum range of up to 7,000 meters. It is mainly used to attack enemy tanks and armored vehicles and other vehicles and personnel. It can also destroy valuable point targets such as radar stations, missile launchers, artillery positions, and fortifications. In the video, it is showed that the Z-19 launches a KD-9 and accurately hits the surface ship and land targets. The PCL-181, truck-mounted 155mm self-propelled howitzer can fire all kinds of laser terminal guided shells. It is light and easy to deploy. China has hundreds or maybe thousands of them. China can massively deploy them in a very short period of time. This video showed their training at Tibet near Lack of India. It showed they used drone to locate the targets and to provide laser pinpoint position guiding the shells fired from PCL-181 howitzer. Laser terminal guided projectiles have become the first choice for artillery in modern warfare to achieve precision strikes. As one of the models that China has introduced and successfully improved, the GP-1, 155mm laser terminal guided projectile. Near end of the trajectory, Projectiles rely on the guidance device to receive information from the target, then process to form control instructions, drive the power device on the projectile, and guide the projectile to accurately hit a target. At present, conventional artillery is developing in the direction of increased firing capacity and terminal guidance. Its mobility and survivability are constantly improving. The Chinese army has timely grasped the future development trend of artillery, carried out relevant research in a timely manner, improved the strike accuracy of existing artillery, and made outstanding contributions to the Army's precision operations. In order to improve the accuracy of long-distance striking, Chinese military industry has developed guided artillery shells. Using various new technologies in microelectronics, optoelectronics, and new detection technology, miniaturization technology, material technology, and new structural technology. For some of bunker, post, barrack sites, tanks, artillery sites and camp base, etc., there could locate at top of hill or hide other side of valley, which are hard to be seen by foot soldiers in the front line who are so-called laser irradiator operators to aim laser beam at the targets. However, drone can fly very high and at a relatively long safe distance away from the enemy, so that would be as a better laser irradiator operator. PLA is now training to use drone laser irradiator to guide laser terminal guided projectiles fired from PCL-181 howitzer to pinpoint strike enemies bunker, post, barrack sites, tanks, artillery sites and camp base, etc. To destroy a set of targets, now they will use only dozens of laser terminal guided shells instead of hundreds of regular shells. Effectiveness increases by tens or even hundreds fold.